How do you intend to handle and end homosexuality in Nigeria, especially in the media and Nollywood? There is a large population as revealed by a saved as gay woman. I'm not going to have an agenda to end homosexuality in Nigeria. Okay. I don't think that's why. It's one of my priorities. Okay. Yes. Why is that? <laughs> because the question the person asks is, how am I going to end it? Okay. But I didn't announce to them that I'm, I'm, going, no, to, going, to end it. I'm going to declare any fight against homosexuality or something. Because... That is a cliche that Christians have come to carry on their head as their sign of Christianity. It's not my assignment. I didn't see anywhere in the Bible where God pinpointed only one kind of sin and said, go and end that one. As long as Nigeria is there as a country, there are sinners there. And the sinners that are in Nigeria I, as far as I'm concerned, it's not only one single thing that is in that country. I think there are even much more categories of sinners in that country than homosexuals. So why is it that the homosexuals are the ones you should now encircle and say you want to get saved? What about the rest? What's wrong with them? There are no more sinners. No, I don't understand. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I think Jesus came to die uh, to save sinners, to seek and to save all that are lost. So why, where did he point out the other one and say, okay, the sinners is one thing, but these ones are the real ones that you should hunt, we should hunt after. So, I don't, so you explain to me the rationale behind that question. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a problem of uh, Christian stereotypes. Okay. Why should you stereotype? Why should you stigmatize people? Why should you just... You tell me. You are a preacher. The homosexual that we are talking about now and the other one that is only stealing or that is only lying or that is only having sex, but only with, you know, with women, with a woman, but not with homosexual. But any kind of sinner, which one of them needs Christ? <laughs> uh, every one of them needs Christ, if I'm to answer that question. Okay. But I think the argument they use basically is that um, homosexuality as a sin is the sin that displeases God that causes, the, yeah, that causes the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. That's usually basically the um, argument. So basically to save the nation, probably maybe there are some sins in quote that is affecting just you and there are some sins that will affect a nation, might bring destruction on the nation. So because of that, yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah, eh? <laughs> that is a very good example. <laughs> yes, it's true. There was that sin too there. Okay. So, but where is it written that that is only the sin that made them to destroy that place? That's number one. Number two, can you, you want to, do you want to tell me that in the whole Bible, right. the only city that was destroyed was the Sodom and Gomorrah? What about the Amalekites? So when God told Saul, or was it Saul, right? Or was it Saul, the first king of Israel, right. to go he, he threw Samuel and said, go and destroy the Amalekites. Totally, don't leave, don't let anything be left. Their, their kings, their little ones, everybody. But that was a bigger nation than Sodom and Gomorrah. They were supposed to wipe and destroy all of them. But was there... Uh, homosexualism listed in the reason why uh <laughs> <laughs> now okay <laughs> Russians will say that okay and let me, let's also name about two or three other cities that were destroyed in the bible and you will see that in all other cities that were destroyed mm -hmm. there was no other one that had that particular scene of homosexuality but they were still destroyed so if you want to look at things that are affecting uh <laughs> whole nations as you have said now so then we have to make a list of all other those reasons why God 
I destroyed them. <laughs> and then they will be hunting all those sins the same way we are doing this one. But as far as I'm concerned, the Bible says, for God so loved the world, you know, it's not just for homosexuals so that we have to die for. That's for all sinners. And the Bible also said that there is no difference between God, in the eyes of God, or between one sin and the other. That all have sinned and come short of the glory. I don't think it's only the homosexual that have come short of. <laughs> okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they have seen it. I think all of Nigeria, my nightmares have 